singing in the rain. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm Alexi Nicole, leaving my life outside. Hey y'all! Fawn's here. So, we're having a Fawn and Alexia day. We decided to go down to Hell's Kitchen and get some food. And we tried. We really tried to take the train. And we just riding. And then, I don't know what happened. Some mechanical issues, train's not moving no more. So now we're just gonna get an Uber. But, Uber. So let's go. You finally made it. Hopefully these tacos are going to be wonderful. We have arrived. Chorizo, shrimp, and chicken. And I got chipotle mayo on the side just in case they were a little dry. Hi, Otto. Let's see what you're doing. is full y'all she ate too many tacos and some beer it's taco tuesday she had a beer I'm too she got the itis and i made her walk because yes. we needed to walk the tacos off Shit. <laughs> now we're heading to sephora in times square that'll make me happy that'll that'll perk me up i'm gonna try not to buy anything <laughs> i'm gonna try I really do need a foundation though. See, you were supposed to get the Becca foundation. Right? And they changed it, so I wait. I returned it, or I didn't buy it. it in the past week. Cause they, that's what they do. You know, I don't think I've been in the middle of Times Square since I got this job and uprooted myself to New York. I've been here plenty of other times before that. No, sir. All right. Being a very good girl in Sephora. Not picking up anything, just waiting on Fawn as she lets her daughter trick her into buying everything that she wants. Say, oh, mommy, you should get this. And then she ends up taking it from her. <laughs> I'm feeling like they're taking this matcha stuff too far. It's a matcha toner, matcha cleanser, a big matcha toner. Somebody found matcha and it has just stepped into the world and is like, bazam, I'm the best new greatest thing ever. Matcha, 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 matcha tea, matcha detox, matcha this, matcha that, matcha smoothie. I can't take it. <laughs> so it's pouring down raining and Fawn is being a weenie. She's scared of water. I am going to walk around the corner to the movie theater to watch um, Breaking In, Gabrielle Union's new movie, and then I'll go home. I'm not going to rush home in the rain so silly so of course i got soaking wet trying to get here to the movie theater so i popped into what what store was this some sporting goods store and bought me a little nike shirt to throw on and i have on sandals so i bought some socks to keep my feet warm i'm about to enjoy this movie give me some popcorn and um and then call it a night y'all call it a night and i'm gonna try to navigate my way home 
without using a map. <laughs> Shouldn't be that hard though. Should just be the E train all the way to Queens. And yeah, let's go. Hopefully the train doesn't have any issues tonight. I don't feel like making this an all night ride. And an Uber was $60 for Uber pool and $89 for a regular Uber. No. <laughs> So it's nine stops all the way back. And Stella said in one of her vlogs the other day that the Wi-Fi or the just phone signal is not good in the subway, which is so true. And to download like a show from Netflix or something to watch while you're on the train. And I should have did that. And now I don't think I'm gonna have enough time. Stella keep giving them good tips though. She always has good tips. Made it back to the neighborhood. Now I'm walking. I've been in just a walking mood lately, like burn as many calories as I can, get these steps in. Somebody commented, I haven't responded yet, but the other day and asked me to end my vlogs when I get in the house because there was a guy walking behind me the other night and that guy was actually a pilot for my company. So no, I wasn't worried, but just for you, I will start ending my vlogs once I am inside a building. But just so you know, if somebody was to attack me, I'm not going down without a fight. My mama didn't raise me that way. <laughs> Anyways, I have about eight more minutes to walk home and my phone is dying, which is not smart. I don't usually do that. So let me stop vlogging. It's been like, what, two and a half hours later? I made it home. <laughs> I forgot to tell forgot to mention it so I said I would so here we are I'm in my bed I don't have reserve until this is my reserve week I don't know if I mentioned that so I don't have reserve until 2 p.m. to I think midnight tomorrow so I'm up usually I get that 3 a.m. shift and they call me with some nonsense but not this time it's just me and some TV shows tonight yay Good morning, guys. Good morning. I am being a major procrastinator this morning. I woke up at like 5. Of course, way too early. And I was going to go to... What's this? That is for fun. She's always ordering. No, it's not for fun. I was going to go to a hot yoga class at 9.30. And then I ended up going back to sleep. And of course, what did I do? I slept through the hot yoga class. And then I was like, oh, well... Let me hurry up and go run in the park before the rain starts because it's supposed to be raining every day this week. And the rain wasn't supposed to start until like 12 noon. It is now, it's 10.54 and it's already raining. So I gotta go to the gym. Oh well, to the gym. It's taking me forever to find a working treadmill. <sighs> Which just means because I don't like treadmills, it's gonna be an issue this morning. Who prefers treadmills over like actually going to the park to work? Tell me why. Like, what's the benefit of a treadmill over running in the park and vice versa? Let me get this 5K. Talk to you all in a little bit. So, I just finished my workout back at the apartment. It's still like raining and ugly outside. So, I'm just gonna chill on the couch, watch a little Netflix. My reserve starts in 45 minutes. Eat my post workout protein snack. And then, yeah. I've just looked at the board, nothing's on there as of right now, but who knows with the weather, anybody could call out last minute and then I could get a call, but I'm not even the person on the list, so I'm not going to get a call today, but you never know. You just never know. So yeah, guys, back to reserve life for four days, four days of reserve each month. Yippee. 
singing in the rain. Singing in the rain. Uh, got a little hungry. A little. And nothing on Uber Eats was looking delectable. So there's this little seafood place that does like fresh steamed seafood and stuff. And you know I'm trying to trim this waste. So healthy food it is. And grumpy. <laughs> grumpy. Somebody need to call her so she can go to work. New York makes her grumpy. No. I want a pedicure just Not because I've never place. been there. I do all these steamed combos. I have all the fresh food. All the fishies. And then I have shrimps and scallops down here. I got a pound of scallops and a half a pound of shrimp. And some carrots and broccoli to steam with that and thank you sir and that should be probably two or three meals for me so if I get a trip I can take it with me if not I'll just eat it while I'm on reserve and I stop at Mr. Rich yummy I don't think Fawn likes hers. Throw the whole umbrella away. Little dollar store umbrella. There's nothing else to talk about mine. So we decided to get out of the house. Crew Services is not ringing my phone. There's no trips on the board for tonight. And we got hungry again. So we came to Friday's. We've never actually been to this Friday's. We always Uber Eats from here, but never actually come. And the game is on, Golden State versus the Rockets. Y'all know, H-Town. <laughs> Fawn's being a child, coloring. But look how little the pants are. <laughs> Anyways, reserve life. I forgot how sucky it really is. It sucks. And she drags me into this damn bakery shop at 10.51 p.m. Obviously, I can't say no. I wouldn't be Alexia if I said no. So, <laughs> I'ma just get a small little cake pop and be a little midnight snack treat. Just, I need a little sugar to keep me up for reserve. This is for work purposes. Yes, perfect excuse. <laughs> hey guys, so it's day two of my four days of reserve. And I'm on 2 o'clock to midnight again. And I doubt that I get called again. So me and Fawn are going to go into the city and try some more food. I think she's off and she hasn't been able to pick up any trips. And I'm on reserve. So I'm just like, you know what? I need to start getting out in New York more. On my layovers, I'm always going out, checking out these cities, and I'm here in one of the best cities of the world, and I don't get out enough and do anything. So, we're going to go, um, I think it's a Ed's Lobster Bar or something. We, um, we found this Instagram page of all these NYC foods and stuff, so every time we see something that looks good, we're like, ooh, let's go there. So, we're going to go there, and then I think we're also on a mission to visit all the Sephora's in New York. <laughs> kind of cheesy but it is what it is so she's in the shower um i'm eating a pre-lunch lunch my veggies and shrimp and all that stuff that i bought the other day because if it's anything like that train ride that was that was slowed down and blah 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 broke down or whatever the other day i'm gonna get hangry so i need to eat before we go eat <laughs> so come along y'all let's go somebody asked mom where's she going Somebody asked Fawn where she thinks she where she thinks she going. I mean, <laughs> not you, you. Oh my! This is me. She got on the whole face. I got on the lips. Me and look, socks and slides. Let me live. That's okay. It is what it is. I want to go with making my life complicated. 
so it might be a little late for me trying to learn this, but how do you know if a train is an express train or a local train? Like, all these 14, 15 stops, I know there has to be something shorter. All my New Yorkers, please let me know. Thank you. Oh, my nerve to correct me. This will always and forever be pronounced Houston. I don't care what state I'm in. We made it. Ed's Lobster Bar. It's a small, quaint little something. Mmm, with wine. Alright, look at this. Okay. Alright, so this is the menu. It's a bula bay. So it's, um, I mean, it, That's good. it looks somewhat red. It's not like a tomato thing. It's like a lobster stock. And then you know, it's a broth. Like, 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 I'm thinking about the lobster meatballs. Like, I need to know what else comes with that. I'm not paying $15 dollars just for some meatballs. Alright, lobster meatballs over linguine with a spicy marinara. It's good. So, my lobster meatballs are good. How's your life, girl? She's happy. <laughs> my day has been made, y'all. I found my favorite store. I've been trying my best to stay away. Ooh, that's cute. But my birthday is in 16 days. I might need a little outfit or two. This is just adorable. It's only $50. Is that like this? Yes or no? I say yes. It's not even really my style, but I say yes. Tell me what y'all think about this skirt. Isn't it cute? My best friend is having her baby shower next weekend, and we don't know the sex of the baby, so I kind of wanted to be in gender neutral color. And I think this is so cute. I'm just going to pair it with a little simple tank top and, of course, some earrings. You know, I love earrings. Mm, shades. Mm, they're just basic. I can find these anywhere. No. Just walked into Sephora and there's a brand I've never seen. Black Up. I'm going to assume it's for my women of chocolatey color. Anybody use this product before? <laughs> You hungry? <laughs> Y'all, I tried on two new foundations. Well, one I've used before. So do you like this side better? Or this side of my face? You probably can't tell because my skin is just so pretty. It just looked like real skin. It looked like real skin? What is other face skin? You know, not like caked up, covered up skin. This side or this side? two different foundations. This is a lighter shade, this is a darker shade, lighter shade, darker shade. Fawn, which one do you like? That one. Which one? Pick one. Hey guys. So it's day three of four for reserve. It's like, what, 5 p.m. I started to reserve at 2 p.m. And yeah, nothing's on the board. I probably won't be getting used again today. Um, I've been laying on the couch watching um, 13 Reasons Why season two, been binge watching it all day long. Um, but I think I got myself in a little trouble from that day of walking in the rain. I kind of felt my throat kind of tickling yesterday and then I woke up this morning and just been signage drainage all day. So I'm walking to the pharmacy to get me some medicine and then back to binge watching. Not much going on today at all. My parents are here though, they just flew in. Um, they're going to Aruba tomorrow for their anniversary, their 15th year of marriage anniversary. So I think they're gonna come visit. My uncle is picking them up from the airport because they're gonna stay with him. Um, but yeah, they're gonna come visit, I think. And um, they leave in the morning to go to Aruba. So yeah, that's it. 
Good morning guys. So today is day four of reserve and I look like crap. Like, I don't know, I guess this head cold is getting to me. Um, but I'm headed to hot yoga. Hopefully I can sweat this cold out and get a good workout in. Um, I'm definitely not gonna get used today. It's day four. For those of you all, I've had a few people ask me before that when I sit reserved now, is it only for MIT, aka our business class, first class, whatever you want to call it. And yes, it is. So it's, you know, the chances of getting used are not as high as they were in reg on regular reserve, regular core flying. So I knew that most likely I wouldn't get used, especially because I have a lot of hours this month. And it all goes by, you know, how many hours people have is based upon who they'll call and things like that. So the least hours you have, they'll call you first. Um, I think my Uber ride is here, so let's go. Well, that definitely was not the smartest thing I've ever done. Hot yoga and congestion, sinus congestion. Never again. I thought I was going to go and sweat it all out and feel better. <clears throat> I struggled so hard through that entire class because you know during hot yoga just yoga period you're doing all these breathing techniques and child by my nose just ran the entire time I couldn't breathe I just basically paid to lay in the sauna yeah because those poses and me breathing was not working <laughs> um, but yeah anyways I am still on call until 9 p.m. tonight. It is, what time is it? <clears throat> it's 2.13. So, like I told y'all, I only have one day left for um, first class. We only have one day trips on Saturdays, but they start in the morning. So, there's nothing else going on for the day. So, technically, I could call and get released from reserve, which means I would just be done. I would be off. They couldn't call me at all, but... Whatever, it's it's the same thing. I'm still just going to sit here and binge watch some more TV. Um, I don't know if I told y'all yesterday, I can't really remember, but um, I binge watched all of season two of 13 Reasons Why, and I absolutely loved it. <clears throat> <sighs> absolutely loved it. I thought it was just like the perfect second season. If y'all ever watched it, um, the girl, spoiler alert, here we go. Um, basically, they did, the second season is everybody, the individuals and in, that she talked about in the tapes in the first season, basically told their side of the story, told their side of the story for the second season with a lot more detail to it. So, I thought it was awesome. So, anyways, y'all, um, yeah. This is probably going to be the end of this reserve week vlog because I'm sure nothing else is going to happen. I do start a trip tomorrow morning. I do a two-day or three-day to L.A. Um, and then, yeah. So, thank you all for watching. I know this is pretty much a pretty boring vlog. I didn't do much. Um, everything can't always be exciting. This is the life of a flight attendant, y'all. Until next time, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Bye!